Six Palestinians were killed, 18 others injured during an Israeli raid on Kabatia in the Jenin governorate in the occupied West Bank. Now, this is according to the governor of Jenin, Kamal Abu al rub al rub said that the Israeli forces withdrew off Kabatia after destroying infrastructure in the area. And this happened amid heavy bombing in northern Gaza. Gaza's civil defense agency said teams recovered the bodies of six Palestinians, including two women, shortly after a home was struck in the Daraj neighborhood. Speaking of the south region in Gaza, in Rafah, two were killed in heavy fighting. U.S. has underscored the need for a diplomatic solution in West Asia. White House spokesperson Karine Jean-Pierre pushed for a ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas, saying that it would lower the temperature in the region. We continue to work on a ceasefire deal. We believe that is that is uh, the way forward in, in um, calming and uh, lowering the temperature uh, there, and that's why we've been working around the clock to get that done. But we still believe a diplomatic resolution is the way forward here. We still believe that it is, uh, it is possible, and obviously the urgency uh, continues to be, uh, continue to be that. According to reports, Israel has submitted a new proposal for a deal with Hamas. The proposed deal includes offering Yaya Sinwar, the Palestinian group's chief, and other members safe passage of Gaza in return for the release of hostages. The proposal has been conveyed to the U.S. as well as the mediators, Egypt and Qatar. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal, citing top-level officials in the White House, State Department and Pentagon, said that a hostage for ceasefire deal is unlikely before President Joe Biden leaves office in January.